speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you asking? You asking me? Trying some falafels here at Jimmy's falafel. Bro, the falafel is so good. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Raph and I'm a YouTuber based here in Sydney, Australia. In today's video, there's gonna be a few interesting things. We're gonna do a tech review in this video and visit some restaurants and I've also got an announcement. Now, let's start with the tech review. So in the tech review, we are going to review this here, coming from this company. So it's the same company that um, where this mic that I've been using for the last two years comes from. So right now I'm using the Rode Video Mic Plus and it's amazing, it captures amazing audio. What we're gonna review in this video today is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So the Rode Wireless Go 2 comes with the actual receiver that attaches to the camera and it comes with two like lapel kind of like type, is that how you say it, lapel? I don't know, but like these two mics here, they go come uh, attach here or I'm not gonna go in depth on this. We're gonna do a real life roll test of the Rode Wireless Go 2. So it's easy to do a test or review when it's in a really quiet setting like this. But the true test for this is when you use this, say in a restaurant setting. So you guys may already know when you're in a restaurant, there's a lot of people, you end up with a lot of background noise. On this mic, it's really hard to just, well, at, at least I don't know how to, but it's really hard to, just to isolate the sound, just to pick up my sound without picking out the background sound, like the uh, people that's also eating in the restaurants. So this is the reason why I got this. I've seen um, a few people use this in restaurant settings, and I think it's a good idea because it's so the mic is so close to your mouth. I feel like if you're in a low setting for this one, it'll pick up less of the background noise and pick up your voice even more. So that's what we're gonna test in this video. We're gonna hit up three restaurants in this video. We're about to test in the third announcement, the third announcement. Now, I'm changing my channel's name. I've mentioned a few videos before. It'll be the episode one of this series that I've been working on that I'm trying to reinvent this channel and I'm trying to go towards more like lifestyle. I feel like I can offer more than just food in this channel. So I'm changing the channel's name now to Okay, so I had to move here because it was getting quite dark inside there. It's getting too dark like the back cave. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to my monochrome life. So we're about to review these things. Hit up some restaurants. I guess there's one thing left to say. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking? You asking me? Try some falafels here at Jimmy's falafel. Bro, the falafel is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Best falafel ever. All right, so we're finally here at Kitty Hawk. I didn't know that this place has, you know, it's been around for a while now, apparently since 2016. That's what Howard says. And yeah, so, so far we've ordered French onion dip, there's scallops, we have steak tartare, and there's some, there's some lobster fries, and some Gruyere donuts. Yo, like, this is insane. All right, guys, this is insane. So we've got the Greer cheese donuts. We've got the scallops here going on, and we've got some French dip here. Yo, what is up? That's it. This is how we roll, guys. All right, so we're having a scallop now. There's like salsa buried in it. There's a scallop, and there's like sausage in it. That's good. Like the yeah, I mm. the sausage out of that. They need the sausage. Although it adds some money, it makes it a bit too salty. But overall it's good. Mm. Now some of that chips and the French dip. Oh wow. The 
flavor in that French strips quite deep. A lot of umami in that. It's creamy. <laughs> wow. I feel your eyes watching me. <laughs> Gruyere donut. Gruyere donut. Snacks. Thanks, Phil. Mm. Crisp on the outside, a bit fluffy on the inside. So much umami from all that cheese. And next up, we've got the um, baked potato and caviar, yo. Uh, let's get it. Mm. Love the crisp in that baked potato. And now it's a steak tartare. Really? Mmm, buttery, umami in there. A little bit thick. Wow! Dude, did you guys see that? That looks insane. Can't wait to have that. Get some of that butter. Oh man, the butter is so good. Wow, that butter sauce that comes with that lobster is amazing. Rich, a lot of umami. Yo, that's insane, that's off the hook. Have some of that lobster now. Mm. The lobster is perfectly cooked, that's really good. And the butter, the butter sauce with that lobster is just perfect. Wow. I didn't want to swallow it, I was just like... Yeah. That's the highlight of tonight. This lobster fries, yo, insane. First up, we have some fried mantel with prawns. Super fluffy in the inside, a little bit crisp on the outside. Creamy, plump prawns. Dude, this is crazy. Starting with the salt and pepper calamari. Not too salty, just perfect. A little bit peppery. Man, I'm looking at looking at those peepees. I can see that exo sauce. It's just the meat in that is just swimming in exo sauce. Man, it looks so good. Mm, you have the crispiness in that vermicelli, soaking up all that exo sauce. Yo, big sweet and sour in there. A lot of umami. Damn. Alright guys, so as promised, we're here at Franca ba Bras Franca Brasserie, what the hell, tongue twister. So anyway, um, yeah, as mentioned, we're here in what I dub as Little Paris here in Sydney. So how's this, how's this sound like? What's the audio like? Is it not bad? Like, how's my voice? How's the background noise? Is it, you know, I, that's what I want to know, like how it's testing. So we won't find out until we edit this video. So my anonymous dining partner, it's my anonymous dining partner's first time here. And I can't wait for my dining partner to try the food here at Brasserie because it is legit spot on. Like it's, it's, it's really good. So the Rode Wireless Go 2 comes with two receivers. It's this and this. I'll see if my anonymous dining partner will then say hello using the other mic. <laughs> so how was that? Like, was the audio for the other mic clear? Hopefully you can hear this quite clear. So we ordered a few things. We ordered their foie gras macaron and their, their Spanish crab crumpet. So guys, I am not going to talk throughout this whole video describing every single food. I'll give you some highlights. As I said, this video is mainly for testing the Rode Wireless Go 2 and how it performs in restaurant situations. If you're a food vlogger, this video is for you, besides the food. Okay. Oh, bro! <laughs> Yeah, is this okay? No, that is okay. You don't even care. So the scallop tart with apples. Yeah. Uh, crab crumpet with tomatoes. And the foie gras macaron with sauté and jelly. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Hey, go, 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 go. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Everybody done, yeah. 
that fast. Here's the issue with dining with YouTubers or food bloggers. It's like, easily the food gets cold, but I'm quick now and my anonymous dining partner was wondering, are you done? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what? Like, you all know me, I'm quick with these things. So now we're about to have that spanner crab crumpet and also the macarons, the um, foie gras macarons. It's macaron because like it's a meringue based Lebec shell and it's got like foie gras filling in the middle. Look at that. Oh wow. Love that shell man. It just like melts in your mouth. It's, it's slightly sweet and then it just offsets the umami from the foie gras. That's, like, the foie gras is like buttery and umami. And here's the Spanish, here's, here's the Here's the Spanish crab crumpet. Boom! Look at that. Spanish. It's not Spanish. Spanish. Spanish crab crumpet. Let's get it. Mmm. Fluffy crumpet with like slight crisps. It goes with that, uh, that really nice silky Spanish crab and it's like a salad in there. So good. That's a scallop. Mm. It's quite refreshing, plump scallop. Right now we've got this tuna tartare with caviar and some celerac and some other good stuff in that. So right now I'm still talking through the road wireless go to. I've got the camera facing away from me, but you can hear my audio. <laughs> did it again, did it again. <laughs> Oh wow, there's like some citrus flavors in there, this nice crunch, the contrast of the silky plump soft tuna, a lot of umami in that, then some crispy bits as well, and with the caviar, dude, that's like umami playground right there. Our spanner crab caramel. So oh wow, that looks so good bro. Yeah, thanks man. So spanner crab with preserved lemon, ratatouille flavor. So ratatouille would have some capsicum, tomato, zucchini, basil, and uh, eggplant as well. So, it looks so vibrant, it's like super colorful, so pretty, like, I don't know if I want to eat it. Mm. Oh wow. It is citrusy, it's vibrant, super vibrant. Um, we got some subtle flavors and then we have like nutty flavors coming through as well, citrusy stuff, some good pasta. So, our modern day bug, cafe de curry butter and some ciabatta just to mop up the sauces. Yep. Yeah, 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 you have to do that. Oh wow. Mm. Oh yeah. Like legit this place looks super busy. We came here at 5.30, it's now 6.48 and... Hashtag legit good restaurant. If you're in Potts Point, aka Little Paris here in Sydney, check out Brasserie, Franco Brasserie that is. We've got a number of sauces, mustard, bearnaise. The handle is hot. This is the cauliflower gratin. And the honey There you go. Oh, oh wow. Alright guys, it's starting to get really dark in here, so I'm going to sort of like end my vlog here, almost. Just going to try a few more things before we end this vlog. Amazing sirloin. I think it's a sirloin cut. It's buttery, it's got a lot of umami. Double that butter juice sauce that's in there. And it's like chunks of like, like confit garlic, is this? I think. No, no. So I that carrot, macadamia, and honey. Yo, oh. It's so good. Okay, just really quick. I know I said that was the end of vlogging here in the restaurant, but that white chocolate and mango tart is amazing. So I had to come back to the camera to tell you guys how amazing this white chocolate mango tart is. It's got this nice, delicate, flaky tart pastry, and then look at that. 
Mm. That white chocolate cream, the mango, it's quite refreshing. It's just beautiful in the mouth. It's the best way to <laughs> the best way to describe it. It feels beautiful in the mouth. This is a raspberry puffy cream. Yeah. And what we have here is coconut. Uh, sorry, coconut coffee bonbons. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Really quick, um, before we end this video, just a really quick recap of what's happened and my thoughts on the Rode Wireless Go 2. I still prefer the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus in terms of audio sounds. I feel like the sound's more full. Yeah, I get like a more full sound. But when I do that with this, the um, Wireless Go, I had to do a trouble boost for those. So trouble boost um, on post, if you edit your audio, works better on this. It just sounds more better, it sounds more full. Now, really quick, am I smart, you guys might be asking, or you may already know this, that's like a mini dead cat. That's for, if you guys don't know, that's for um, when it's windy and you don't get that sound. That's what this thing is for. It's, a lot of people don't know this, but here's the thing. You actually have to twist it. So, attach it and then twist and then it locks, locks in. But if you're in situations where you know there's gonna be crowds behind you, like a restaurant, if you're doing restaurant reviews, or you know, you're gonna be some sort of rally, or I don't know, and it's like noisy everywhere else, this would be nice to isolate just your voice, just your audio. I think it's decent. Let your thoughts be in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, smash it if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and please hit that notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. Guys, thanks for tuning into this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace, much love, I'm out.